Hey, what's going on? So, as a penetration tester, I find myself often using the same tools most of the time in my tests. And also when I practice on Hack the Box and uh, on other similar platforms like Wizard Labs, TryHack Me, and all that stuff. And these tools that I'm going to talk about are all free, um, however, some of them have paid versions as well. Now, I want to briefly mention these tools in this video and probably do a separate video for each one of them in a bit more detail. So, I'm saying that I use uh, these tools in my practice because as I follow the penetration testing uh, methodology, they fall well within the scope uh, of the steps in the me methodology. Uh, I'm not sure it catches the wind blowing in the mic, but anyway, I hope you hear me well. Um, okay, so you as a penetration tester will most likely be using these tools all the time. So the first one that I'm going to talk about, briefly mention, um, as you might have guessed, is the good old Nmap. So I know of Nmap um, ever since the very humble beginnings of uh, me or myself in this field. But through time, I learned how to leverage the power of Nmap not only for simple port scanning, but also for vulnerability discovery. Okay, now more details in a separate video. The second tool would be Nikto. Now, I know there are a lot of uh, vulnerability assessment software and tools that you would have to pay like at least uh, four to five thousand dollars for a license, but are they really necessary? I think they could be. Uh, so maybe if you have the money to invest in them or even maybe if uh, you work for a company that's willing to pay for the license they can help you in automating the process however you can do uh, well with free tools for your uh, manual analysis which in my opinion is uh, gold so the second free tool that I'm talking about is Nikto and there isn't much of complexity into using it but we'll uh, get more specific later. Basically, Nikto is an open uh, source vulnerability scanner that's pretty much kept to date. All right, now the third tool, or I should say packet of tools, a uh, combination of tools would be Derb, Derbuster, and GoBuster. These allow you to brute force for web directories uh, in your efforts of exploiting a web application. Now I think I've used uh, any of them in basically all of the assessments uh, that I did, both for my jobs or contracts and for the practices and training I do on web apps like on Hack the Box and Try Hack Me and all that stuff. All right, now the fourth uh, tool that I want to mention is Netcat, which is also called the Swiss Army Knife of DCP IP connection. Now, I use Netcat for getting bind and reverse shells between machines, and I also use it for file transfers, uh, and I'll demo Netcat in a separate video. Okay, uh, moving on. The fifth tool or framework is Metasploit. Now, I see Metasploit as an all-in-one uh, exploitation framework as it has modules for practically all the steps uh, in the penetration testing methodology, starting from information gathering, enumeration, all the way to exploitation, post-exploitation, and access maintenance. In one word, I would say that Metasploit is a high-level, awesome exploitation um, tool. However, a quick word of caution. Um, I would recommend learning how to perform penetration tests without relying on Metasploit. And this is also very useful if you're preparing to take the OSCP examination where you have a limited ability to use the framework. All right, and the final tool that I want to mention is Burp or Burp Suit. This is an amazing tool for web app security. Um, and in its most simple form, it allows you to manipulate web requests. However, besides using it as a proxy, Burp can also be used as a scanner, spider, decoder, sequencer, repeater, and so on. Um, I could do an entire 50 video series on the capability of Burp 
and I don't know maybe I might do that uh, however my point here was just to mention burp uh, as a, a necessity or to mention burps necessity in the repertoire of a penetration tester all right so this was the list of six free tools that I use in penetration testing if you're a uh, pen tester and you're using other cool and very useful tools tell me about them uh, in the comment sections and before you go let me tell you something so even though I'm in my OSCP journey I will still post videos on the channel and to stay close besides clicking on the subscribe button now you also need to hit the bell button as well uh, to know when I post new videos all right if you found this video useful and you stayed uh, till the end thank you thank you you do me a, a huge service if you share this video with your cybersecurity fellas as it would help grow the channel and increase awareness in cybersecurity until next time peace